guys, thanks for joining us on the Drone Camps channel today. You are looking at a new type of drone that has been just released. Uh, they sent us a demo. It's actually really cool. It's been all over social media just recently and it's been in Wired Magazine, USA Today and others uh, around the country. So pretty cool that we got to demo this. Edwin, the creator of this, sent us this bionic bird. It's on mybionicbird.com. Now, what is this? It is a new type of drone. It is an furative, called a furative drone. We'll show you what the definition of furative is up top. And originally, this was created by Edwin's father back in 1969. He originally created the Tim. It was a wind-up flying mechanical bird, had no controller. It was just totally free flight. So you'd wind this thing up and let it fly. Um, so I remember these as a kid, friends of mine had them and they were totally fascinating. Sometimes they would end up who knows where, but this one's totally cool because you can control it by your phone's app. So it hooks up to Bluetooth on your phone and then you can fly it as much as you want uh, until the battery dies. I think we're gonna get around a 10 minute flight on this bird, so we're gonna show you in the flight demo. But what is this? It is originally an ornithopter. Ornithopter is Greek in origin, stems from Leonardo da Vinci's original design, which was inspired by Edwin's father to create the original one. So Edwin's taken it a step further and he's integrated it with Bluetooth and the latest technology with LiPo batteries and given us a great product. So around the 100 to $150 range, you can pick one of these up. Check out the link below. Uh, so let's go ahead now, let's show you what's inside the box. Open up this super gorgeous box. We'll show you what's included and then we're gonna take it outside and do a flight demo for you. So super excited. Thank you for watching. Here we go. Okay guys, here we are with the Bionic Bird. This is the Carbon Edition. Very, very cool. It works on Android. You can download that in the Google Play App Store and also works on iOS for your iPhone and for your iPad. So let's go ahead without further ado and open up the box. We'll show you the QR code on the front. That is so you can scan with your phone and download the app. Very, very nice the way they've packaged this. It has his name on the inside, touch the sky, and there is the bionic bird in all of its engineering technical glory. Let's go ahead and take the bionic bird out and show you this. Very, very cool. Lightweight design, carbon fiber style coating on the wings and very streamlined. It has an adjustable tail. Depending on the wind situation or how fast you want the bird to fly. If you're going to fly indoors in like a gymnasium, they say to put the tail up higher. If you're going to fly outdoors and you want to fly a little faster and maybe work on your glides, you can lower the tail and it will actually glide a little quicker. So you can cut the throttle and glide. You also have steering left and right. There are some sensors in the wing so when you tilt your phone left or right, it will actually, like an aileron, as you tilt your phone, it will tilt the wing and give you right and left movement. So very cool that it does that. It has an on and off switch at the very middle of the drone, on off here, and a small antenna here. It does have a winded gear inside, you can see right here, that helps the bird keep its wings flapping. On the bottom, it has two magnets on the bottom. And the way this works is your egg is the charger. So turn your egg on by pressing the button on the bottom. Once it's on, you put the bird on the egg and the magnets should line up. And when they snap in place, the egg will let you know it's charging and it'll flash like so. So you wait around 10 to 12 minutes for the battery to charge in the bird and you don't have another controller to charge up, you just have to make sure that the app is installed on your phone. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna pull the card out that's included here in the box. The card has a QR code on the back that will give you a direct link to the app store and you can go ahead and download that. So also in the box is extra weights for the wing tips. You can balance this out even further it's nice that they thought about that. And a USB charging cable 
for plugging in the egg to your laptop power source so that you can charge up your egg. You probably get around 10 charges out of this egg before you have to recharge it. Um, also includes a small brush for brushing off the battery terminals on the bottom of the drone. So before you charge this for the first time, they recommend rubbing any kind of dust or particles off of the, the battery terminals before you charge it. So next up in the box, we have extra wing material. So if you damage a wing or you fly into a tree or anything solid and you rip a wing, you could probably use a piece of tape, but that might be too heavy to repair because this thing is super ultra light. So instead of using tape on the wing and then have to try to balance out the other side, go ahead and pull out your new wing and slap a new wing on there. So you get two extra wings there in that set. Now, after we wait for about 10 minutes, we'll be ready to fly. So let's go ahead and get this battery charged up. We'll get the app on the phone and we'll go fly this thing. Okay guys, we're at the field now and we have the Bionic Bird all charged up. The battery is all charged. We have the app on our phone. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app and I'm gonna take the bird out, turn the bird on and see how quickly the app connects with it. So the app is already connected. We just turned on the bird and let's give this a real quick test flight. To turn it on, we're going to press fly. The button here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this will turn it all the way up, give us full throttle. There's also a cruise control on here that you can click if you want to maintain a certain throttle. So this is all touch orientated and works by touch screen. So uh, go ahead and do maximum throttle when you throw this thing for the first time because that's going to be the most effective launch. I have a feeling if we go low throttle today, it's not going to work out. So let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and toss this thing for the first time. Okay, so there's a technique to this. You have to hold your phone absolutely still while you're launching the bird full throttle and give it a toss straight out, a little bit up. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of wind, but we're able to, yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. So that's only the second time we've ever flown it. So let's try this again. Okay guys, so we're going to do this again. We're going to launch full throttle and I've turned the tail up just a little bit this time, see if it will fly just a little bit slower and we'll try to cut the throttle and go uh, with a little bit of glide. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, so we're just going to go ahead and do it now. So it's keeping the nose up a little more with the tail up. I think this will be good in a gym situation. Seems like it's having trouble gaining altitude. Okay, let's try it again. This time we're going to put the tail back about midway down. Pretty fun though. So this is really different than flying um, an airplane or a helicopter. It really feels like you're seeing a real bird in the air. It's actually really cool. It's absolutely calm today. There's a, maybe a few knots of wind. But I would love to be able to get this thing up there really nice and high. Very, very cool. We've been excited about this one for a while, so this is really exciting to see this one get up in the air and see how it glides. Nice. Very, very cool. This is the bionic bird. And this is all app controlled. Take some practice. So, the inventor told us that we weren't going to get it on the first try, but after some, some practice, practice makes perfect guys, this is pretty cool. I'd love to get it as high as I can possibly get it and glide back down. So for around a hundred bucks, this is absolutely cool. Looks just like a real bird. I think up there it's getting some wind, it's getting pushed back, so I'm going to go ahead and do a glide real quick. 
and I can still control the wings as I'm coming down. Gonna just glide back down. See if I can get it back this way a little bit. It's fighting the wind to come back. Inside a gymnasium, this will be really awesome. So that's it. That's the flying bird, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,